All right, guys, Will H back with another video. Doing a follow up on the OnePlus 11 5G. I picked this up a couple weeks ago and I want to come back and just talk about some of my experience with this device. So, this is not like a full review, this is just talking about my experience with it so far. And I opted for this over the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I uh, just wanted to go in a different direction this time around. And when I saw uh, this device and the look of it and the design of it, I was like, I got to have that device. Uh, it's a beautiful device. And I started hearing something to talk about uh, some of its shortcomings. And I decided to pick it up anyway. For me, it doesn't really have too many shortcomings. I, I'm truly enjoying it. I'm glad I picked it up. So I still use my Z Fold 4 as you know this is this is my favorite phone right here i just like to fold folding devices kind of got burnt out on the slab phones some of them started to all looking to look the same so i like them when they look different and this is definitely a different look right here some people don't like the cameras on the back of it they say it's a stove top look i guess if your imagination takes you there then it, it could be considered as a look of a stove top i guess but for me <laughs> i like it uh this sandstone material on the back of it is nice uh, i guess that's what it's called now uh apparently i didn't know i had ever owned a oneplus device until i signed into my account to buy this device and it showed that i had previously owned one so uh but me using the last two weeks it's all new to me you know so just learning this device and trying to get used to it has been fun, man. This device has the aluminum frame, but it looks, it's got this chrome look going around here. It's got Victor's glass on the front of it. Uh, it's a solid feeling device in the hand. Uh, very premium looking and feeling. And uh, as far as the build quality, I think it's excellent. Uh, it's easier to hold in the hand than something like my Google Pixel 7 Pro, as you guys see, is not as wide. I do have a case on this, but uh, still not as wide. And then you got your iPhone. Uh, it's not as wide as that. So it fits in the hand very well. It has a curved display on it. And I haven't had any accidental uh, touches or anything with the curved display. All the buttons and everything are great. Don't have any uh, wobble or give to them. I do like the idea of the alert slider right there easy to turn your volume on and off put it on silent vibrate uh you got your mic and your speaker or microphone i'm not sure uh, i heard someone say that it was a speaker but uh you got your mic charging port and your speakers down here as well and like i said it's a big device but it feels great in the hand they did a great job with the build quality on this uh, the phone doesn't get hot. It did get hot a little bit. I was doing some video editing on it and it did get a little hot, but uh, not bad. Now this has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. This does not have wireless charging. I think that is one thing uh, kind of mixed about. I do use wireless charging while I'm sitting at my desk with my other devices, but this does charge from zero to 100 within 25 30 minutes so uh, that's a plus for me but a lot of people don't like the idea that it doesn't have wireless charging so uh, but like I said the 5,000 milliamp hour battery I get about eight nine hours uh, strain on time uh, if you count it like that the battery life is excellent on this so uh, no issues there now it has two speakers one here and one at the bottom or one here and one at the bottom <laughs> if that's the speaker uh akg tune they sound good uh maxed out they get a little tinny i guess you could say they don't sound as good with maxed out but the speakers are good on it uh so no issues right there and i also talked about the alert slider i got a few notes over here i'm looking at uh so that is good with the alert slider now this device has a 6.7 inch ltpo3 display you guys see the colors are very vibrant, very, very beautiful. When you're watching videos, uh, just reading articles or your social media, uh, everything is excellent on here. There's some cases I got for it that I posted earlier. Uh, it's, it's beautiful, man. It's nice to look at. 
did a great job by putting a punch out punch hole camera over there to the side and uh i just think it's great now one other thing uh this gets up to 1300 nits i think uh it could be brighter outside i do have a little trouble seeing it in bright sunlight so the nits could be a little bit a little bit a little bit higher for me uh this has the 8 gen snapdragon snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor this is running oxygen 13 along with android 13. Uh, I do like the idea. It's fast, snappy, no slowdowns, no heat ups, like I said, opening apps, apps in the background, no issues retaining or opening up anything. So it's going to perform well. Now with the Oxygen OS on here, it's very, you do have some customization out of the box where you don't have to go and download different apps and stuff. You, you can put your different launchers and stuff. Let's see how this is accented. See how the icons look here. Uh, right out of the box, you can go in and change this stuff up. So right here, as you guys see, you got your icons you can change. Or that'll focus right there. Your font, uh, the fingerprint sensor on here, which I didn't talk about yet. But you can change the animations on the fingerprint sensor to different fingerprint animations. So customization out of the box is pretty good. Here's some icons you can change. I'm using this one right here, right now, I think. Yeah, right there. And you can change up, you know, your background colors and stuff like that. I have it on red right now, but I could change that if I want to. So that's something I like about it, straight out of the, out of the box. Uh, you can change your colors right here. Here it is here. So you guys see, I have it on red. But you can change it. Just different little customization features on here. Here's your edge lighting. So... Uh, this lights up during calls and notifications. You can change it from blue, red, and yellow. So not many uh, colors there. You can change your clock style on your uh, lock screen. Different, change up different looks. You can put different faces on there. Just, just a lot of customization here, which I haven't really dug into yet. But uh, as I continue to use the device and have time to do that, then I'll come back and, and maybe do talk about that when I make a full review on it. But let's talk about the cameras. Uh, some people don't like the cameras. Uh, the camera's been great for me. Uh, I've been able to take some great video and some good footage, uh, vo uh, photos on here. Uh, I've been using it, taking with me when I go out of town, taking photos and videos, and it's been good for me. Now, I'm not a, a photo expert or whatever the terminology is for someone who's in the photos, uh, but for someone who just normally pick up their phone and shoot, take a shot, then it's good for me. So you got a 50 megapixel wide, that, and this, this, this can shoot up to 8K video, uh, 32 megapixel telephoto and a 48 megapixel uh, ultra wide. And the cameras are great. Like I said, I'll throw some B-roll in here of some of my shots and videos right there. And for me, someone, like I said, not a, not a photographer, they've been great. Now, the front-facing camera is a 16-megapixel camera that only shoots 1080 at 30 frames or 60 frames a second. That's a letdown uh, for people that really use their front-facing cameras. Uh, that I can see why they're complaining about that. But for someone like me, it's great. No issues at all. Uh, the face ID on here is very fast, as you guys see. I'm behind the camera with lights on. It jumps in there really, really quick. Uh, this comes in two colors. I don't know if I mentioned the other color, the eternal green, but this is called a Titan Black. And uh, I like it. I just like it. There's another feature on here, shelf. I don't know what this is. I don't like it. I can disable it. But it doesn't seem like it's very customizable. You got a clock on here, weather. Uh, you can see where I was listening to uh, Spotify. So, shelf. I'm going to disable that, but I want to leave it on there while I talk about my initial impressions on it. Uh, over here, uh, I don't know if this is called Google Feed or whatever it's called. I do like this because it populates with different things that I'm interested in. I guess it learns your pattern. Uh, I do like the weather and, and the uh, clock app right there. 
and uh, just been great, man. I got the six. I, I end up getting the 16 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, one for the same price as the base. Uh, I got the free upgrade with with all of that for 6.99, so it wasn't bad. And like I said, it's been nice. Uh, Tudia was kind enough to send me out some cases for this. There are not a lot of case cases out there for this, so. That's one thing, accessories are not plentiful right now, but uh, that's just my first thoughts and impressions of this device. Uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll come back after I really learn and write down some stuff that I want to talk about this device, then I'll come back. But uh, Wheel H, this is the OnePlus 11 5G. Catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.